Good morning, everybody. Happy February 1st. We have made it through the first month of 2023. Today is the first day of February, so let's take a little bit of time to talk about the January that we had and the February that we hope to have going forward. So January was a great month overall for the Seahawks and for Seahawks' Brendan Nelson. Um, in both counts, I think you could say maybe better than expected. Um, the, the Seahawks, obviously, when we went into January, we actually had a losing record. We had lost several games in a row. People were not feeling good about the team. Uh, people were pretty pessimistic about where things were going. It looked like we were not going to make the playoffs. Well, we ended up winning two games in a row to start January, making the playoffs, and then getting to play in a playoff game. So I'd say that was pretty cool. Now, the playoff game did not go the way we wanted it to. But I would say we exceeded the expectations that we had going into the month of January. So I'm going to take that as a win. I'm going to take that as a feather in the cap of a lot of these players and a lot of these coaches. So that was great. And the channel, look, when I went into January, not knowing what the Seahawks were going to do, obviously, um, I was thinking to myself, okay, January is probably going to be a little bit of a slower month. And my initial estimate, my subscriber goal for January, by the end of January, was 11,750. And to give you guys an idea of how awesome you guys were supporting the channel, subscribing, uh, new people coming in, uh, as of the month flipping over from January to February, we actually exceeded that number by over 100. Uh, like 101 or 102. So we are currently sitting at... 11,851 as of my most recent count. So, I mean, that's awesome. Now, a big reason why is because we made the playoffs. That helped a lot. Getting to play an extra game, that helps. People are going to be more active and interested in Seahawks stuff when the team is actually making the playoffs. Um, and I was live streaming at the moment we clinched because I was live streaming during the Packers-Lions game, so that obviously helped as well. That was a big part of it. But even beyond that, people were really awesome, being very supportive, being very interested in what I had to say. And at the end of the day, the channel gained over 400 subscribers in the month of January, even though we did not have games in the second half of the second half of the month. I think our last game was on the 16th. So for the last two weeks, the Seahawks were eliminated. People still coming in, people still subbing, people still watching the videos. So... People were definitely really engaged even after that, so thanks for that. So, January was a really good month. It was better than I expected. Even if the Seahawks had not made the playoffs, I think we would have probably gotten very close to that uh, subscriber goal or probably passed it by a little bit. So, the making the playoffs just kind of added fuel to the fire here. And like I said, in summation, over the course of the month, we gained more than 400 new subscribers. So... February, obviously, February is probably the slowest month of the year to talk about football stuff on YouTube unless your team is in the Super Bowl. If your team's in the Super Bowl, then you've got a lot, a lot of stuff to go through. You've got a lot of stuff to discuss. But if your team isn't in the Super Bowl, February is probably the slowest month of the year because when you think about the uh, football calendar, in March, you have free agency. In April, you have the draft. Those are two massive moments in the NFL calendar that are going to generate so many different things going on that there's just an infinite amount of stuff to talk about, even though free agency doesn't kick in until mid-March and the draft is at the very end of April. And by the way, of course, you're talking about the free agency leading into free agency and you're talking about the draft leading into the draft. So it's definitely understood that it's not just the event itself, it's the discussion of the event. And then you get to May, and in May, you've got the afterglow of the draft, and you've got rookie minicamps and OTAs. And then June. June is probably the other month in the NFL calendar where things are really slow. There's nothing happening. Maybe there's going to be one or two camps. Maybe there's going to be one or two OTAs. But June is another month where things really just slow down. And then July, training camp, uh, minicamps really starts to heat up. People start getting really interested. August is preseason, and then in September, the season starts. 
runs through December. And nowadays, we usually have at least two regular season weeks in January. So there's stuff to talk about throughout the first part of January. And for most teams, either you make the playoffs, so you have a playoff stuff to talk about in mid to late January, or your team misses the playoffs, and because they miss the playoffs, they fire a coach, and then you talk about that. Like, um, sometimes it's both, by the way. Like, uh, 2020, we uh, made the playoffs, and we fired Schottenheimer. Last year, we didn't make the playoffs, and we fired Norton. So, there was stuff to talk about in those Januaries, even after the Seahawks were eliminated. So, that month is usually fairly active either way. But, um, in... In February, there's just not going to be a whole lot going on. I'm going to go through a ton of free agent stuff, but I understand that there's only so much you can squeeze out of that, and the interest will be a little lower. But let me just say this. Um, as of right now, the sub count on the channel is 11,850 or so. I think a little bit more than that, like 11,851. So we are right close to 12,000. In fact, that'll probably be my goal for the month. I'm going to try to get to 12,000 subs. I'm going to try to make enough videos, make enough good videos, make enough interesting videos to get to 12,000 subscribers. Um, when I get to 12,000 subscribers, whenever that happens, that's a milestone that I have to celebrate because it's 12. So I will definitely be doing something special for 12,000. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is yet, but it's going to be something I've never done before. It's going to be something really cool. I think it's going to get a lot of people excited, and it's something that I may look to do again in the future, but I can say that I will be doing it when I get to 12,000 subscribers as a sort of celebration. I'm not going to celebrate every thousand subs, but 12,000 feels like you got to do something. So that's what's going on in February. Basically, I need a, you know 150 new subs in February to get to that goal. Whenever I get to the goal, even if I get to the goal in early March, it's still going to be a celebration, but that's kind of the aim. So February, throughout February, I'll be doing free agency videos. I'll talk about any news that comes across the wire. If anything huge groundbreaking happens in the NFL, I'll obviously talk about that. But just understand that February, other than the Super Bowl, might be the slowest month of the year football-wise. It's either February or June. Um... The only thing that really happens in February is the franchise tag window opens. And for most teams in the NFL, the franchise tag window means nothing. The franchise tag window does zip. So very little is going to happen in February. Even the Senior Bowl, which technically starts on the last day of February, we don't get to digest that until March. So that's basically what's going to be going on in February. Um, I'm going to do, like I said, I, I said this in a video a couple days ago. I'm going to try to make at least one video every day. I have a lot of videos lined up. I know what they're going to be from day to day. Um, and then you get to the end of the month, and then I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do yet. I got a lot of great suggestions from you guys. I want to thank you guys for that as well. I will definitely be taking some of your ideas. I have a couple ideas of my own. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a good month, but I do acknowledge that the month of February is... Basically, when things start to slow down, unless your team is in the Super Bowl, and only two teams get to make the Super Bowl. At least this year, we don't have to worry about a division rival in the Super Bowl. That's nice. That's a bonus. I appreciate that. But, um, yeah. Awesome January. Excited to make the best that I can out of February. Um, yeah. Okay, so, uh, Twitch. Let's talk about what happened on Twitch in January. Because that was really cool as well. I had a great month on Twitch. It was my best month ever. Um, not, not in terms of any particular statistic. But the feeling of things on Twitch was totally different. Because at the start of the month, I decided to finally play Zelda Breath of the Wild. And people loved that playthrough. I got stream attendance for pretty much every Breath of the Wild playthrough. That was way more than any other game that I had been streaming before. Like, you know, I would frequently have Zelda Breath of the Wild streams where I'd have, you know, 30 people. And I know that sounds like not a lot to some people, but to me it is, right? So, awesome attendance throughout. 
and we saw a little bit of a ripple effect on my other playthroughs. Crisis Core was getting double-digit viewers, which was significant for that game because it's a spin-off game and a port of a game that's 15 years old. Well, 16 now. Um, you, you had good attendance for, like, LEGO Star Wars. People were starting to dig that playthrough, which is still ongoing, by the way. We had good attendance for uh, Fire Emblem as well. We saw a little bit of, like, a, you know, the rising tide lift all, lifts all buoys effects on Twitch with some of these other games as well. Zelda was the game that really brought a lot of people in. For some reason, people just went to that playthrough like crazy and wanted to see me play through that game. And there, it wasn't as drastic for these other games, but it still helped grow the channel a lot. I picked up a lot of new followers. We uh, got to 405 followers over on Twitch right now, I think. And, you know, we um, at one point, we actually had 25 subs to the Twitch channel, which was a record for me. And again, I know that's not a lot to a lot of people, but it is a lot to me. Uh, we had gifted subs going. A lot of people, when their gifted subs expired, actually renewed because they liked the uh, benefit so much, which was awesome. So it was definitely the best month I've ever had on Twitch, just in terms of people showing up, people caring about the game, people interacting. And at the end of the month, obviously I went through the new Dead Space. Uh, that playthrough went fairly well as well. And as we go into these uh, future months with other new playthroughs that are coming out, it's hopefully going to be able to maintain momentum here because, quite honestly, ever since I stopped playing Zelda after I beat it, um, I wasn't able to build up to like those massive view numbers again. There was something special about that playthrough that made it bigger than any playthrough I've done before. And I, I've definitely still seen growth, but that Zelda playthrough really hit it. For, I mean, there were some streams for the Zelda games where people were even coming in and cheering, which is something that very rarely happens on my Twitch. Uh, people really, really enjoyed that playthrough. We'll see if a game like Hogwarts Legacy, which I'm going to be starting when it releases in February, can do the same thing. So yeah, that's the main highlight of what's going on on Twitch in February, Hogwarts Legacy. I'm probably going to do early access, so it's going to start, like basically less than a week into February, I'm going to be opening up on Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I'm going to be continuing to go through Fire Emblem. I'm going to try to beat that by the midpoint of the month, maybe a little past the midpoint. And then we're going to move on to uh, Horizon Forbidden West, which is a game that came out last year that I didn't play at the time, but now I'm going to take a shot at it. And we're still working on Lego Star Wars. Uh, that playthrough may be put on hold for a little while, to be perfectly honest. Um... There have been some uh, things going on in the background that I can't really talk about, but it could be a little while before you see more LEGO Star Wars. I don't know, but either way, there's always going to be stuff to play, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, I might cram in a couple of smaller games or even indie games before Hogwarts Legacy hits, but um, either way, that's obviously the big draw of the month of February. Is Hogwarts Legacy going to be good? Is streaming at early access going to bring a lot of eyes and attention to the to uh the channel is it going to actually help my uh th this streamer thing that i'm trying to do over on twitch take hold because i'm having a lot of fun over there and i think a lot of people are having a lot of fun as well over there so hopefully it can continue to build but uh that's basically the state of my YouTube and the state of my Twitch going into February. January was a great month on YouTube, and it was my best month ever on Twitch. February, I, I don't know if it's going to be as good on either count, just because there's not as much going on. But like I said, you're still going to see daily uploads through all of February, pretty much. Maybe by the end of the month I won't be able to, but I'm going to try to keep up the daily uploads for as long as I can. And over on Twitch, we're still going to be playing Fire Emblem. We're going to uh, be going through Hogwarts Legacy. And we're going to open up on Horizon Forbidden West. That's what I know of so far. Okay. So thank you everybody for an awesome month. Hope you guys appreciate the monthly state of the channel videos that I make. And um, I'll keep it up for uh, going forward, I guess. So see you guys soon. Go Hawks. Uh, video coming out later this afternoon talking a little bit more about Geno Smith. Okay, go Hawks, and thank you for the awesome month of January.